So um, my husband's in the Coast Guard and we moved here um, about uh, six years ago, I guess it is. Um, and he grew up a farmer knowing that when he retired from the Coast Guard, he'd want to go back to farming. God provided us with 10 acres here in the Robinson Township and um, we started farming for ourselves. Uh, the farm has been in the family for about 100 years. It was actually a dairy farm initially, but my boss, Charlie Ham, um, turned it into a vegetable farm about 50 years ago or so. And um, it's grown since then. We started, um, they started selling and bottling the juices in October of this past year. But um, the owner, she's been juicing for 20 years probably. Um, we are, are from Four Points and we're the Council on Aging for Northern Ottawa County. And so we're always looking for ways to serve older adults. And so we've teamed up with the Farmer's Market and the um, Health Department to uh, be able to bring this produce out to those individuals. I took a job uh, down in uh, Chicago for a summer job, uh, fell in love with the owner and with the, uh, just the business lifestyle and, and with all the cheesemakers, so really wanted to do that and went to corporate life, so I quit the business, started uh, that and hated it, so I wanted to rejoin, start my own business. And so I came up here in Michigan and went from there. This Or a pasture based farm. Um, all of our animals are outside on grass, um, getting plenty of exercise, um, bugs, sunshine. Uh, we do partner with the Amish family in Fremont, Michigan, so they grow Mill and Custom Blend, our non GMO food. Um, simply no um, chemicals, antibiotics, hormones, pesticides, or herbicides. Um, for probably the first five years, we processed our own chicken. Um, my older children got jobs off of the farm, which left um, fewer hands for doing the work. Um, so we now um, go to Cappingas in Holland, Michigan, and um, they're happy to process our chicken. Yeah, so uh, Charlie just started growing a variety of crops um, in a really small field and selling to some friends, and they kind of said, hey, you should turn it into a business. So he went the business route, um, and now we have about 20 to 25 employees, um, and we produce it's a pretty large scale farm um, on the small side, of course. And uh, that's kind of how it's grown. He's just drawn in local help and um, has some volunteers at the farmers market that sells for. Yeah. So the importance is is that we know that the more fresh produce people um, have access to and are able to utilize, the healthier they are and the longer they can live. So that lowers health care costs for people across the board. So we like to play an important role. In